Hey, what is up my squiggas? Well, I am the Woomy Wizard back for another video. This is the second video of the channel. Welcome to Splat 101, an idea suggested by Calum, aka the Killer Serpent here on YouTube. Um, shout out to him for giving me this idea. This is preparation for Splatoon 2. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are doing this, but I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be explaining, I'm gonna see if I can explain some stuff a lot deeper. I'm pretty sure there's some people doing this too, but um, if, I, if anyone else isn't, then this is for you if you are new to Splatoon and didn't do the test fire. So, um, in this video, I will not really go over, um, so this is basics and rules. Um, so um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I totally forgot what I scripted, and I lost it too. But we can do it without it. Um, let's just move on. Um, so basics and rules. Let's start out with the rules. This is for soon. This is not your normal. Um, get as many kills as you can type of game. This is a protect your territory kind of game. You gotta paint the floor to win. You gotta paint the floor. Walls don't count just in case you did it already. No, don't try to be a douche and paint walls only. Because walls are useless unless you're trying to climb up stuff. Or trying to invade other people's territory. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, you can try killing them. That'll basically set them to a couple of steps back because then they have to go back to their spot and come all the way back. And the thing is, it basically puts you ahead because you're basically eliminating them from the game while you take your territory. There's, um, there's, that's pretty much much of the only rules unless you're doing a different game mode. The most common game mode is, of course, Turf War. You gotta ink some turf, claim your turf, and whoever inks the most turf wins at the end of the match. There's pretty much nothing else I can explain. Then there is Rainmaker. You have to take you have to take control of the Rainmaker and take it to the other team's base. It is really fun, but really complicated, especially because you have to wait for that thing to frickin' charge up so you can shoot um, the ink tornado thingy, my jigger. I forgot what it's called. It was like my favorite weapon. The Ink Zooka. I think that's what it was called. Then there's, um, I can't remember. Uh, um, what was it? Tower control. Yeah, tower control. You basically have to get on top of a tower that's in the middle of the stage and ride it all the way to, I think it was your other team's base. I totally forgot what I was supposed to say. But I'm just going on a win here. I'll make sure I, I make, I'll just have the script with the next episode, um, which is gonna be weapons and play styles, like which weapons fit your play style, blah, blah, blah. This is episode one, let's move on to episode. Those are three, the three game modes, but um, basically there will be the new ones in Splatoon 2, which is the only new one, honestly, is going to be Salmon Run, which I'm pretty sure you should already know about it. Just in case you need a little brief, uh, in case you need a little brief reminder, you basically team up with three other people, or I don't know if you actually need the four people, but maybe you just team up with a friend, or two or three. And basically, you guys have to defeat fish thingers, fishy things. You have to defeat fish, fishies, fishy fisher, I don't know. <laughs> um, no, 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 um, no, none, not trying to offend you, fishy, but they gotta kill fish. salmon fish. Okay, let's move on, we're gonna go over to, dang it, I totally forgot, okay, I was going over the rules, we're gonna go over the basics, um, like this, I'm gonna talk about the controls and blah blah blah, so let's just, uh, maybe move on i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you guys the joy con controls not the wii u controls because that would be stupid 
Um, I'm going to show you the um, Joy-Con controls, the ones they told us how it would work. So let's just move on. Okay, so here you have the beautiful Joy-Con of Nintendo. Let's see if I can get the lights on. That looks a lot better. So here we have the beautiful, beautiful Joy-Cons of Nintendo. I'll just move that over there. Because I don't want to look like an idiot. Even though I already do, because of when I'm recording this. <laughs> so here are the beautiful, beautiful Joy-Cons of the Nintendo Switch. Um, so basically, like all games, you're going to move with the little control stick on the left, which is pretty obvious. Unless you're using tilt controls, which you're basically aiming like up, down, left, right, left. I'm, I'm stupid. Um, unless you're doing that, you can use the right stick to control. I only use tilt controls when I'm using the sniper because it gives me a lot ac more accuracy. I like calling it the sniper when it's actually a charger. I just really like calling it a sniper for some reason, even though you don't actually, it's not actually called a sniper. I don't know what the voice was there. And basically, so in Splatoon, the original Splatoon, the jump button used to be X since the little right stick would be up here. So now they changed it, the, the jump button is B. You will use Y to reset your camera to where it goes back behind your avatar, your character of choice. That's pretty much it. So for sub weapons, you're gonna click the R button. Basically, you're gonna click the R button, like in Splatoon. You're gonna shoot with this just like the original. It's pretty much the same controls other than this one being jumping again. And basically, you'll understand that this is squid form. This one's pretty much useless. The left button's useless. The left, the ZL is squid form. So basically you're just going to be sitting here going like walking around and I don't really like motion controls unless I'm in portable mode I will use motion controls because it'll feel natural because I won't have to like I used it in the Wii when I was with the pad because you know that feels a lot more natural to use the motion controls but I usually use the right stick also because I want to get better at killing other people in other shooting games since I suck I'm a third person type of guy Pause button. This is the pause button just in case you're a couple of idiots. <laughs> uh, pause button just in case you're idiots. Blah, blah, blah. Um, th that's basically Splatoon for you guys. That's all I got for the basics and rules. The basics of controls. The rules. For most of the game modes, there's not really much to talk when it comes to basic and rules. Because, let's face it, everyone should know about these. And since, epi I didn't wanna, um, since episode 1... Of um, explaining stuff is usually basic and rules, um, and it's probably just a little bit boring for you guys, but you guys will understand. Um, so Joy Cons, blah blah blah, moving, jumping, turn off. It's basically camera, camera, moving, sub weapon, shooting ink, squid form moving that's pretty much it these are useless these are useless these two are useless this thing is useless this is a pause button um and then the rules basically inks and turf turf war rainmaker carry it to the other base and tower control take it to the other tower salmon run defeat some defeat fishies that's all i got for you so remember to subscribe, join the gang, um, and like always, or this is the second video, what am I trying to say? I mean, so, uh, this is the new thing that's going around in my head, so hopefully this stays stuck in your mind forever, but I can't do this without saying like always. I'm just gonna go with that even though it's the second video. Like always, bro hubs, squid fives. All around! And I will see you in the next video. Stay fresh!